Ariel Hawani post fight at UFC on Long Island alongside two very happy men, Long Island Zone, Matt Serra, Ray Longo. They are happy. Why? Because their guy. Well, come on. I'm trying to keep this it's professional. A it's a celebration. It it's is. a celebration. That Where's my from? slice? Listen to me. Chris Wyman was like a superhero tonight. Tell us what happened. A superhero. <laughs> I don't even need the rest of this. He's gonna tell you what happened. Let me let me finish my pizza. Okay, so this is so big, right? Weidman big. snaps the three fight yeah. losing streak. Yeah. Nassau Coliseum of all yeah. places. Can you describe? I mean, he was super emotional, yeah, but I mean, you. Look, I mean, did you see the, hear the energy in that place? Did you witness it? I mean, it was crazy. When we came out, I was like, wow, this is a crowd. I mean, I remember fighting the Anderson Silver in Vegas where I thought it was a home turf advantage and they were booing him. So to be here and hear the Long Island people support him like that was just energetic and I thought it was great man and you know again if he was backwards to the wall he knew he had to win uh, Gastelum I can't say enough good things about him he's tough he's durable he's coming to fight so this was a, made for a great fight I thought they made for a great main event you never got the opportunity to fight here is this the next best thing for you oh absolutely no I'm on cloud nine I really am um, if you've seen any of Chris's sparring he was very intelligent in there and he was very smart as far as um, <clears throat> Not taking the bait where, like if you've seen the, the Tim Kennedy fight with, with, um, with Gastelin where he was doing jiu-jitsu 101 where he saw the back, he took it, went to flatten him out. He's a very hard guy to keep flat, stocky guy. The stocky guys you got to watch out for. So he's good at getting to all fours and then going belly up when somebody's on his back and then reversing it, getting out. So Chris didn't play that. He was, he was content on keeping him on all fours, not just diving for the back, just out wrestling him, keeping his shoulders and hips to the mat when he can. And um, when, when he was trying to bait him to, to go belly up, Chris didn't do it, especially in the, at, the, at the, the third round where it was crucial, and it led to that mount position until they had an arm choke. And Chris has such a strangle, he's had such arm strength, that once that was around his neck, um, I was thinking this is a wrap, you know, and thank goodness it was. And, and to add to that, Chris kind of dedicated this fight to Matt backstage in an really? interview saying, you never got the chance to do it, but because of you, I'm here, and he wow. really dedicated the fight to him for, for him never fighting here, which I thought was unbelievable, nice. too. So it was just a great night, one of those feel-good moments uh, to a nice kid with a nice family, and it was, it was crazy. How worried were you in the first last 15 or so seconds when he was dropped? You know, I was worried, for sure. You know, worried, but good worried, and just got him back in the fight. You know, that happens in fights, and, you know, I wanted to, I, I think it was the best thing that could have happened to him because he hit some adversity and he showed who he was, and that was the whole idea was, you know, I think in some of those other fights he hit adversity, he might have got distracted, but this time he hit adversity. He came out guns blazing that second round, had a great second round after getting knocked down at the end of the round, which I think really after that round I knew he was going to win the fight. You know, I just said, wow, he's, he's back and he's throwing. He's throwing with conviction. He's mixing it up, and he just was too big for him. It's fighting intelligent. Yeah. yeah. It's fighting the way he spars. You know, he's used to uh, going with a big moose like Volante putting him down with the gloves on where you can't even make grips. So uh, Kelvin being like a, basically a bloated welterweight with no, not meaning in disrespect because he's, he's taken out middleweights and he's looking, yeah. he's looking very dangerous at middleweight. But, uh, you know, Chris is just, Chris is way, way too good a, to be a fighter. He's a phenomenal fighter. So to be down three fights, is just something that was so hard for us to even just deal with. We're like, he's way too, it's just, you know, I've been down two fights before, but fuck, man, I'm no Chris Wyman. He shouldn't have been down three fights, and now he's got a clean slate. and did it in his hometown, and like Ray said, he had to deal with some adversity yeah. in there. We couldn't be happier for him. Yeah, right. hey, can we just talk about the big news, the svelte Ray Longo? I mean, oh, this is you something know, I, else. I hate, let me, hold on, let me just get rid of that, that pizza. I, for, I noticed pizza. you didn't go for the and pizza I, tonight. I noticed this, um, this, this, this fucking cameraman of yours. Yeah. Could you do me a favor and keep it up? Did you look at this though? Did you see fucking that? Wow, wow he's right in the vein. Hold on, only, only because I know you went down low anyway. Oh, the cast. Oh, Did you look oh my at gosh. Me? But it's not you about, still got it. It's not about that. I forgot it's about, about those cats. Chris yes. getting the strangle. How are me and you? Are we good? Yeah, I don't know. I'm actually not sure. Oh, wait I feel a minute, like there's La Monica. I, gotta I feel go like you don't want to do this. <laughs> but Ray's still, you know, uh, you know what? I'm he hasn't forgotten. Yeah, raise your guy. The word Benedict Arnold was thrown around, but you know. Who's the Benedict Arnold? I don't know. I just me. With, with you? I gave you nothing, but I I'm, I might be the, the reason for your fucking success. No, I'm only kidding. But I definitely, 
started saying you were the Howard, whatever his name was. Yeah, and look, I'm in the exact same spot, so nothing really has good. happened. No, you're doing all right for yourself. You know. You're doing all right. I appreciate it. No. You're the Howard Cosell. I know, Harold, he yeah, said. No, no, he said Harold. Close enough. I, I, whatever his name is. The guy with the two packs. I kind of feel like this is the perfect place and scenario to squash it all, you know? Well, I'm okay with you. Yeah. Wow. Listen. Are you okay with I him? Be, I am. I can be friends with oh, Dana man, and, and acquaintances with you. It's fine. Oh, wow. No, we're not. We aren't that tight, but we're cool. We don't, listen, we always got you know, along. Hey, remember, <laughs> remember you. Listen, awkward. you know, a, go. a, a, friend, <laughs> a friend doesn't want to call out when he does a favor for another friend. Okay. But you didn't need me in the city that time. Was uh, I there at all? Uh, and, I, and the best is when I bring that up, you go. You, yeah, well, you go. Nothing came about with that anyway. Well, oh, really? No, I mean, I no was one on the knows what you're around. talking about. Ray, nobody, thank you. Nobody knows what I'm talking about, but yeah. I did a solid for you, you yeah. fuck. And <laughs> you bring it up because nothing came about with it. Yeah. That's so the one thing like, oh, you keep oh, going so back. You keep listen, going back. Even, I, keep, even, I keep going back to what? Even Jim got my back. Jim, you don't even have my back. Jim Norton? Yeah. He's a good man. He's the best. But listen, before this thing ends. Is that you, show still on, by the way? UFC Unfiltered? Are you out of I like your to mind? call it UFC Filtered. I don't think it's filtered. <laughs> you like to take shots at the UFC. <laughs> They've no, been I good to me. You know? No wonder why you don't get credentials anyway. About I'm right here. Uh, oh, you are in here. You, you are in here. Yeah. Well, listen, good for you. I don't hate on your career. You're just kind of a little shit sometimes. And you can be like a little wise ass and a little condescending. And and I try to be nice to you. Yeah, but we've you done some good things. We had Phil's uh, Drunken Sicilian not that far from here. Remember that? Your Fox show. Is that going well, on? You know, hey, right, well, good. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> but listen, hey, listen. Let's uh, yeah. bygones be bygones. Yes, yes. I think it's it's good. Okay. This is a good time to do All it. Right. I was very happy for um, you. It was good to see and you. I know you I'm happy. Did you have I'm a root so, canal I'm a couple so days happy. ago? I had some caps on yeah, my teeth. Okay. Oh, I didn't make the wall. Well, things were well, for us, all right? I know. It was I, know. The I, heard, same. I heard I'm a Mr. Fancy Pants. I don't <laughs> make the things anymore. But seriously, subscribe to USC Unfiltered. Okay, okay Dana White looking for a fight. I know you love that That's show. That's so on. Hey, is that on? Is it on? Yeah, it's on. What about your MMA hour, which is 20 hours? Good. Thank you. New Good studio. Would you Good. come one day? I'm happy. Absolutely not. Okay. But listen to me. No, I will. I will. When I'm not busy, when I'm... Not hanging out with Jimmy Norton, doing UFC Unfiltered That's and right. traveling the world with Dana, but, or teaching jiu-jitsu at Sarah BJJ. I flip this shit. I make it just a spin on me. But seriously, though, it's neither of our night tonight. It's Chris oh, Wyman's Chris night. Congrats, Chris Wyman. All Long Island in the world loves you. He's like a fucking superhero. I'm psyched. I'm going to have another slice of pizza. Enjoy. Thank you. Good to see you. Congrats. Bye-bye. Right,